there's a number of causes of hip pain. Uh, the hip pain, uh, or the hip joint, sorry, just like the shoulder joint is a complicated ball and socket joint. Um, therefore, as a result, it relies heavily on the soft tissues, the muscles, ligaments, uh, to hold it together, otherwise, uh, you know, otherwise it can sort of uh, dislocate or separate quite easily. But by relying heavily on the musculature uh, and having so many degrees of motion within that joint, uh, there can be uh, uh, this pattern of doing activities too frequently, too often, like sitting, like bending, that can lead to tissue breakdown within the joint. The other separate issue with the hip joint compared to the shoulder is that you have a lot of weight-bearing responsibilities with the hip. You have their standing, walking, running tasks, so uh, that can further exacerbate the breakdown of tissue. But usually we're spending most of our day in a flex position at the hip, just like as I am now. And uh, as a ball and socket joint in this position, the ball is settling or sitting in one specific area. Uh, so it's fine there, but all the other areas that it belongs in and is supposed to roll around in, it's not nourishing those areas enough. You can get a lot of uh, restrictions and can lead to uh, muscle strains and muscle problems when we try to actually get active later in the day. Um, the other big problem is that we tend to not stretch enough. We, we tend to run, we exercise, we work out, but we really don't stretch those hip joints and hip muscles enough to offset the strength training. And that can again further uh, exacerbate you know, a hip condition. So uh, it's a combination of, of stretching more and uh, sort of getting up more at the office, which can help you know, sort of alleviate some of the breakdown.